Have you heard this song? I was heard that she was 19. It's got a big ID and a nose ring. What about this one? What am I waiting for? Wait With Waiting to Spill releasing just a few months ago, who really are the backseat lovers? Backseat Lovers is young indie rock band from Provo, Utah. The band formed after an open mic where lead singer Joshua Harmon and guitarist Jonas Swanson first met. The two were later met by their drummer Juice Welch and their bassist KJ Ward. The band released their first project, Elevator Days, in May of 2018. This five-song EP promised a bright future for that band. Elevator Days brought a fresh indie sound that showed a lot of potential for these teenagers. With its contrast between songs and their snapshot of life within their lyrics, Joshua sings about relationships, heartbreak, and his personal journey as a musician. Not even a year later, the band self-released its debut album, When We Were Friends. This album presents a polished version of the band, with their formula of low-key intros and small instrumentals to an energetic slam in their second verses and chorus. The sound creates a key dynamic with highs and lows. Joshua's raw vocals and amazing instrumentals refresh the senses of modern overproduction. With their incorporation of Birch Turpy and Kill Girl to the police sirens and dugout, this record produces a more organic and deeper connection with the listener. In 2020, the band had major plans, going on tour, releasing new music, and expanding. But in March, just a week before the North American tour, they had canceled due to COVID. But they were able to make good out of a bad situation. They played multiple online concerts and rehearsed for future shows. These efforts landed their music on many different Spotify playlists, including the United States Viral 50. Once COVID restrictions loosened, they had the chance to play at Lollapalooza and Newport Folk Festival, as well as getting exposure on Jimmy Kimmel Live and CBS's morning show. Through 2021, they had a lot of time to start working on their next album. Having spent their childhood listening to their parents' music, they found artists like Radiohead and Cage the Elephant, which influenced their songwriting for previous work. After many delays, the band finally released their first studio album, Waiting to Spill. This record was produced by a six-time Grammy Award winner, David Greenbaum, who produced for artists like Paul McCartney and Cage the Elephant. In this 10-track album, all four members seamlessly worked together, working as one entity. The band used many DIY instruments throughout this record. They knew the sound would work from using a rice-filled Altoid container to a fire trick siren during a vocal day. Once again, the production is remarkable, from the early winter morning stemmed in morning in the abs to the pouring rain in the mountains and viciously lonely. This three-year delay added further character to an already highly engaging album. The backseat lovers have a different sound that separates them from flavor of the month bands that are here today and forgotten tomorrow. From the way their songs follow a terrific formula to